hello everyone i hope everyone is fine in our last video we are talking about android studio and also java jdk which we will use today's video today we will show how we can create a project in android studio and we will talk about project hierarchy android hierarchy let's start This is our Android Studio. I already created some projects using Android Studio. That's why sidebar it's showing what sort of project I create. But when you will install, clean install, you never create any project, then you will not see this sidebar. You will see only this screen. And as you can see, there are lots of uh, and if you want to create new projects then you you should create here now click create new project if you want to open any project which you downloaded from github or any other sources then you can go this place and you should use the path where you are downloading if it will be in your desktop then it you will go to the desktop and you can open this project get from version control it's a git version control after that debug apk uh, apk we will talk about apk later uh, because uh, this is the process to make your project uh, like apk file and you can install it in your phone and you can uh, give it in google play store so that's why we are basically creating apk it will be our next uh, we will talk about it later now it's not main concern and import project like if you are using some eclipse gradle gradle then android studio is very powerful because it's uh, combining gradle and everything that's why this is the great advantage to use third party software which and they already created all kind of ingredients which is needed for creating android or ios application import an android code sample uh, so it's not important now we will concern more these and these and apk we can create later we can uh, do it inside and there is configuration file how you can configure your project import setting export setting plugins you will go settings then you will see such kind of windows and you can change here which you want to change if you want to change color you can do it go to the appearance and you will see this go to the editor then you will get code editing font and if you will go inside auto import it's very important try to select this option optimize imports on the fly for current project you can also select these these two import you can select because uh, when you will write any class or any uh, method if it already built in then it will it will import your package automatically and when you will delete any method it will automatically disable from your project you don't need to worry about it that's why you can make it now you can check this box and you can create you can click apply after that there are lots of things what we can do here like if you there are lots of uh, languages java c and public c plus plus html J, json this is not html is not a programming language but kotlin it's yes so there are lots of information how we can customize our android studio and looks it better and if you want to change font size i am showing you I already show you Mm -hmm. this is the font 
you can change your font size if you like large font then you can define it here if you like a small font you can define it here and there is a background color what you like you can sorry it says it's a font name so and code editing if you want change the color your android studio color then you can also do it everything is here you can so you can change make change and uh, you can customize your android studio from settings you can see properties markdown you can also see plugins what sort of plugins you are using what sort of plugin you can install plugin from this place version control i already talked and it's git github so it's really really very very strong tool to build up android project and during our uh, this tutorial we will use it i already mentioned so there is a compiler build tools debuggers compiler you will uh, know every step uh, one by one when we will start to create project this is the language what sort of language is supporting kotlin support it's already support kotlin and nowadays kotlin is very very popular for android application most of the organization using kotlin but uh, we will create android we will implement or create android application or develop android application using java if you know one programming language and others will be easy so it's not a problem so this is our introductory part about uh, android studio in our next video we will start to create project when we will create project i will show you some extra functionalities when we start to create project how it's look like and in what settings we should do it and what sort of folder we should show to run application and how it's look like when we start project we will see it in our next video so see you next video take care bye bye